Hi, my name is Jessica Visconti. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and expressive arts therapist, and I'd like to either welcome you or welcome you back to our Creative Grounding series here at Bristol Community College. And these are a series of groups that we both hold on Zoom as well as pre-record for students to have some time to get creative and try some new outlets and um, find a little bit more about themselves and connect with other students. The materials for these groups can all be found in your Office of Student Engagement programming box. And if you don't have one of those boxes, the great thing about expressive arts is that you can really use whatever you have. So you're always welcome to um, use a different medium or draw or collage, paint, whatever you happen to have um, at home, what supplies you have available or to just uh, tune in and think about some of the props that we're using. So if you do have your um, box from the Office of Student and Family Engagement. We're going to be using the paper bags today to do some drawing and then we are also going to be using the oil pastels if you have them and um, if you don't have them crayons also will show up really nice on the paper bag as well. So what we're going to be using those for is we are going to start with a guided meditation kind of around the theme of mountains and then we're going to move into some art making also following that theme. So again if you have those materials you're welcome to use those, the oil pastels, the brown paper bag, um, and if you don't have those materials you can always just use a pen and paper, you can collage if you want, um, you can use crayons, really whatever you happen to have at home for supplies. So the meditation that we're going to be using today is um, the mountain meditation script and I found it from um, the Pillows Mindfulness website. Um, it's originally adapted from John Kabat-Zinn's mountain meditation which you can find at Mindfulness Staples Dot com, um, and you can also download um, recordings of that from there as well. They're a great resource if you're interested in exploring some different mindfulness techniques. Um, so before we get started, just um, if you need to move, please do that. If you want to um, do your meditation in the seat you're in or um, find a different space wherever you're going to be comfortable and um, generally uninterrupted so you can have some time to focus in for yourself. So now that you're in whatever space you need to be in to do your meditation and to kind of have this creative time for yourself, just take a second to start to tune in and, and land. Um, you can either have your eyes closed or you can have a soft gaze, um, which generally just means your eyes are open but you're not looking at anything in particular. And just starting to notice how you're sitting um, or laying, sensing into the support that you have from your chair and or cushion, paying attention to the sensations of contact um, that you might be having with your seat or with the floor or wherever you are. Um, and finding a position of stability and poise, your upper body balanced over your hips and shoulders in a comfortable but alert position. You might have your hands on your lap or on your knees, your arms hanging by their own weight, like heavy curtains, stable and relaxed. Sensing into your body, if it feels safe, feeling your feet, your lower and upper body, your arms, shoulders, neck, and head. And when you're ready, if you haven't already, either closing your eyes or bringing a soft gaze and bringing awareness to the breath, the actual physical sensations, feeling each breath as it comes in and goes out Letting the breath be just as it is, without trying to change it or regulate it in any way. Allowing it to flow with its own rhythm and pace. Knowing you're breathing perfectly well and there's nothing you need to do or change. Allowing the body to be still and sitting with a sense of dignity, a sense of resolve 
a sense of being complete. Reflecting this sense of wholeness within yourself. And as you are here, letting an image form in your mind's eye of the most magnificent, beautiful mountain you know, or you've seen, or you can imagine, letting it gradually come into greater focus, even if it doesn't come as a visual image, allowing the sense of this mountain, its feeling, its overall shape, its lofty peak or peaks, its large base rooted in the earth, its steep or gently sloping sides, noticing its size, how solid, unmoving, whether you're far away or up close. Perhaps your mountain has snow or trees or rugged granite. There might be streams or waterfalls cascading down. It could be one peak or a series of peaks with meadows or with lakes. Observing it, noting its qualities, and when you feel ready, seeing if you can bring the mountain into yourself. So that your body and the mountain in your mind's eye become one. So as you sit, you share in the stillness, the majesty, becoming the mountain. Feeling grounded, you might envision your head as the peak supported by the rest of the body, your shoulders and arms, the sides of the mountain, your lower half, the solid base. And with each breath, as you continue sitting, becoming a little more of the mountain, alive and vital, unwavering in your inner stillness, completely what and who you are, beyond words and thought, a centered, grounding, unmoving presence. As you sit here, becoming aware of the fact that as the sun travels across the sky, the light, shadows, and colors, virtually moment by moment in the mountain stillness, As the mountain sits, seeing and feeling how night follows the day and day follows the night, the bright warming sun followed by the cool night sky studded with stars and the gradual dawning of a new day. And through it all, the mountain sits, experiencing the change in each moment, constantly changing, yet always being itself. It remains still as the seasons flow into one another and as the weather changes moment by moment, day by day, calmness through the change. In any season, it might find itself surrounded by clouds or fog or rain. Although none of this matters to the mountain, which remains at all times itself, Clouds may come and clouds may go. The mountain's magnificent and beauty are not changed. In sun and clouds, seen or unseen, it just sits being itself. At times, visited by storms. And through it all, the mountain sits. In the spring, trees come come, flowers bloom, birds sing. Through it all, the mountain continues to sit. And in the same way, as we sit in meditation, we can learn to experience the mountain and we can embody the same central, unwavering stillness and groundedness in the face of everything that changes in our own lives over seconds, hours, and years. In our lives and in our meditation practice, we experience 
constantly changing nature of mind and body of our inner and outer worlds while we have our own periods of light and darkness, activity and inactivity, moments of color and moments of gray. We experience storms of varying intensity in the outer worlds and in our own minds, bodies, and we endure periods of darkness and pain, as well as moments of joy. Even our appearance changes constantly, experiencing a weather of its own. By becoming the mountain, we can link with its strength and stability and adopt them for our own. We can use its energies to support our own energy to encounter each moment with mindfulness, strength, and clarity. It might help us to even see that our thoughts, feelings, preoccupations, emotional storms are very much like the weather on the mountain. The weather of our own lives is not to be ignored or denied. It's to be encountered, honored, felt, known for what it is, and held in awareness. And in holding it in this way, we come to know a deeper silence, stillness, and wisdom. If you resonate in some way with the strength and stability of the mountain in your sitting today, it might be helpful to use it from time to time in your meditation practice to remind you of what it means to sit mindfully with resolve and wakefulness in true stillness. In the time that remains, continuing to sustain the mountain as your own. And on your next breath, breathing in anything from our meditation you'd like to take with you. And breathing out anything that you'd like to let go of before we come back. And starting to once again be present in your own body. Sometimes it feels nice to wiggle your fingers and toes as you come back. Once again, feeling the support of the chair, points of contact where you're sitting or standing or laying. So I have my um, bag out and my pastels, and so I think I'm going to do, I'm going to cut um, part of my bag because when I do the rubbing from the pastels, I don't want um, this to create any, any textures. Um, so that can be a choice that you make as well, or maybe you can rip it, um, really whatever you kind of thinking so I'm gonna do that and then I'm actually going to open up the bag because I think what I'd like to do is maybe have some type of mountain rain um, and you are welcome to use some of these suggestions or you can really do everything in your own way as always um, so yeah, I think that's one of the things I'm going to do.